watching this video for the very first time, you're just walking, um, tuning, um, clicking this video. Thank you very much for clicking. It should mean the absolute world to me. If you subscribe before you go, in this channel we talk about car, we talk about hair journey, we talk about a whole lot of things you get. So if it's something you like, please stick around by subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell, and I'll be so grateful. Now let's jump into the to the main and to my old subscribers oh my god you guys are the very best thank you so much for everything it's been a long time i actually sat down to have a chit chat video with you guys and i felt you know what there's this highly requested video that's been coming up on my social media account in my instagram account and i was like you know what let me just sit down answer this question and get to chat with you guys there's been a lot going on that's why i've not been able to chat i've been really super busy these days and you know with i've been coping with um a loss and yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. I'm better in a better state right now. Thank you. So today we'll be talking about wound recovery, like wound recovery, healing, the healing process and everything. So yeah, let's jump right into it. This uh, topic is a whole lot of medical stuff, but I'll try to make it as plain, as simple, as very understanding, so very ex well explained as possible so that you, uh, if you don't have an idea of medical stuff, you can still have an you know she could still understand what i'm talking about now in case i'm looking down i have a book i have a jotting down here that i'm trying to you know jot down so like i said let me just define wound healing it's a normal wound, wound healing for me it's a normal process but much quicker for some people and much slower for some people some people it takes them so long to recover while some people before you know it that same day they begin the scar is beginning to form into a scalp you understand now if you don't understand this medical things i will explain this is a wound this is a wound this is my wound right um the process of me just um is, is a fresh wound now immediately you for some you, you know sometimes um it takes longer or quicker to get to the scalp process now i will explain it now wound healing takes phases for you know for it to 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 get to that phase now it could include hemostasis inflammation proliferation and remodeling or regeneration of scar now i'm not going to go into that deep because it's a whole lot of medical stuff but i'm going to, to go into much deeper into the factors that affect your wound healing number one is your skin type you know there are three types of skin type or more they're oily um there's oily skin there is um dry skin and there is um normal skin now wound i'm going to go into much deeper um explanation of this how this your skin type might affect your healing process but today we're just going to go into the factors all right so now um your skin type might actually affect your your healing process yes it does especially for people who have um, oily skin which i said i'm going to go into a deeper pro then number two is stress now if you have a scar and um in that process you're stressing yourself too hard you in fact your body is taking the time to adjust to what's happening it might affect your healing process you know your stress level is going to affect it's going to make this the wound less it doesn't recover as much quick as is expected because you've stressed your body to a point where it doesn't have that enough energy to actually do that all right you might not understand this it's also um, a medical process which <laughs> uh, i don't want to dive into that no now excess smoking and alcohol of course you all know that the, the more you smoke the more you you drink and you know that is going to really affect your healing process so that's why i always advise my viewers that if you're doing a picosecond or you're doing a laser treatment avoid all of this avoid some certain drugs avoid some certain don't even smoke just give it some time till you go back to whatever you understand just let yourself um heal naturally let it heal the, the normal process that it's supposed to heal rather than being subject to some certain kind of things all right number three is um no number four number four is nutrition yes nutrition is a bigger factor in your wound healing if you're eating junks 
like not healthy things you might think it's not affecting it but it does affect it now that is when you begin to like oh, like okay let me take this um let me take for example now you maybe you mistakenly caught yourself you understand you mistakenly you caught yourself it's a bit deeper but it's not that deep you still eat your junks you still eat everything you won't care but this it might take some time to heal but you will not even care but when you start when you become intentional with your scar removal process you become intentional that's when you watch it you begin to like oh why is it not healed like this why is it not healed like this and you're still eating your normal thing but you get that's why you need to be very intent when you start your picosecond laser you need to be very intentional about what you put inside your stomach i say this all the time that is when you need your healthy your fruits your vegetables they're really really good they're really going to help you heal faster then infections now infection is one of the major thing if you have like an infection in your body or your skin is exposed to the scar area is exposed to infections it might not make it heal fast it might even make it worse it you get it might not make it heal faster you will just be nursing wound upon nursing wound it will not really do anything you just notice that it's been months two weeks three weeks of um of you having that scar and it's not healing at all okay yes and number four is age the more you age the more um it takes quite some time the healing process become becomes much slower than when like babies or toddlers or adolescents those are the ones that immediately um immediately they you know they injured they get injured you can see them healing faster but the more you get older that's that rapid um healing stage becomes a little bit slower than normal than before okay and number number seven is oxygen like i think this should be the first like let me explain this oxygen if your wound is not exposed to enough oxygen it will not heal it will be fresh it will still be fresh that oxygen getting inside of that is when it's going to form into a scab have you noticed that when you have a scar um, that is on the open area on the open area it heals faster more than the scab that you normally cover up like if you have a scar maybe in your botox or somewhere else that you need to wear something over it and hair doesn't penetrate inside it heals much slower compared to the one on your hand or your wrist or anything because that you can get direct it, you, you're not covering that up so you get direct sunlight so oxygen is really 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 good for a scar to heal faster then number eight is this is this is like diabetes and other diseases like that they helps you know diabetes kind of reduce the rate of which you you can have a scar for like months it's not going to heal months i tell you it's not going to heal because of that diabetes because of that disease that you have so yeah you need to watch all of this and just pick um and notice okay just know that okay is this the reason why my scar is not healing faster is this the reason why my scar is not healing faster just know that all right i've come to the end of this i just wanted to make it as short as possible to just you know give you uh explaining everything that you need to know about scar the healing process and everything so that you don't uh, begin to uh, think that there's something wrong with me there's a lot of factors that involve in you doing all of this so yeah thank you guys and um, if you watched it to this point you're the real mvp thank you and before you go please subscribe to this channel like this video share it to somebody that you feel like it's going to be of help to you and um yeah stick around and don't forget to be beautiful in your own way god bless